Kings. It's Ian from RTO here. Welcome to a very dark Northampton on this Tuesday. And we're going to kick off today with the very last part of the Alexis Corner story. We've got all his bands, his solo and some collaborations. And this last part is with another collaboration. Now, that he did a couple of albums with... Um, a live albums with a guy called Colin Hodgkinson. Now Colin has played on a lot of his other stuff as well, but Colin is a terrific blues bass guitarist. Now he's a left-handed bass player, uh, guitarist, and he he's got a unique way of playing. He can do sort of. Um, guitar solos on a bass it's just his technique he also has played on one of the White Snake albums and he toured with them um, he played on Slide It in the original not the American version and he's also the bass player that appears on the video from Castle Donington terrific bass player played with the Spencer Davis group as well, done work with John Lord, Jan Hammer, Paul Butterfield. So him and uh, Alexis decided to do a, a, a live tour and basically the bits and bobs, it's that, oh, they're just them two and other people. So they, they made two very good live albums and um, we're going to have a look at them today. So they're both good. Um, it was just hard to put which was the best out of the two. So coming in at number two is from 1994. It was when it was re released and it's live in Paris, but it was actually recorded in Paris in March 1980. Um, so the backing vocals are Alexis and Colin, and Colin's on the bass. Alexis Corner plays electric guitar and piano. And it was recorded at La Chapelle des Lombards in Paris. So the first track on here is Blue Monday. Nothing to do with the New Order. Now, because of Colin's unique way of playing bass, he sort of played in the lead line. And... Alexis is doing the chinky stuff. It's a really good track. I do like that track quite a lot. Um, the second track is Key to the Highway. They do sort of do a mystery. You've got this really cool bass line from Colin and some of Alexis' great little guitar piece really run through another really good track. Then we have Cat Coat Rag. Now, I've always said this about Colin Hodgkin. He's one of the most underrated bass players, and especially of blues. His unique way of playing. He's like the equivalent of Jeff Beck on the lead guitar. Both of them had a unique way of playing their guitars. And the bass work on this is terrific. It's almost like a lead guitar. Really good. Um, phonograph Blues. Now, um, Alexis is now on the piano. And again, it's just Colin's work is terrific. It's just great to hear this. Um, Little Bitty Gal Blues. Again, another sort of piano bass. Now, you think piano and bass wouldn't work together, as a, but I think it's really, really good. Then they do a great version of Robert Johnson's Sweet Home Chicago. Brilliant. Then they do a great version of Cherry Red. Just unbelievable. Um, then we got I Got My Mojo Working. Another great classic blues song. Some great bits on there. Then um, we've got Gospel sh Ship, which is a song that he did with um, Snape and Peter Thurrup. Uh, it's a really good version of it. And the last track on here is Geneva. Great bluesy bass. Great singing. What a track to end the album with. I'm glad I've got this album. Uh, it's just a very simple blues album. 
and I thoroughly enjoy it every time I put it on. So I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of 8.4. But the new, the new, my favourite one is another concert um, from about the same time as the other one. Um, again, recorded at the show, the Long Bars, and this is Testament, and this came out in the year 2000. And basically, it's just again Colin and Alexis doing piano. And guitars and, and bass. They start off with a John Lee Hooker song, One Scotch, One Bourbon, One Beer. Brilliant version of it, very basic version, but the bass line is absolutely amazing. Then we get Stump Blues, another great track, very gentle bass this time for Colin, but it just gives it that extra zing because of the way he plays. Then we get Streamline Trainer My Buy Babe. These two musicians work so well together. You've got a nice gentle bass line from Colin and some lovely lead from Alexis. And then we got my favourite track of these two. It's called 3220 Blues. Uh, it's that gap by um, Colin makes that bass sing it's a terrific track and then we get higher hill sneakers again the, this these two at their best great little uh, number this is then we get when the circle will be unbroken the baseline on this just leads it all the way through and then Lexis just works around Collins magic fingers then we get Mary open the door. A great vocal from Alexis on here. Um, it's just an amazing track to end the album. Uh, this is another example of basic blues. You've got one of the best bass, British bass players of the blues. Um, it's a very, very solid album again. I like playing these back to back. Um, yeah, it's such a good I mean I've, I've put them on a CD together just it's fantastic to listen to if you just want a gentle blues so I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of 8.5 so there we go that's rounded off Alexis Corner and another fine story of some great British blues from the from the daddy of the father of British blues uh, played with some fantastic musicians in his career. Was a radio DJ as well, so I've really enjoyed doing this one. Um, what have we got for you next week? Well, if you want to find out, you're going to have to wait till Friday. Uh, and all I'll give is it's somewhat it's an, uh, an a guitarist. He's played with many bands. He's done all sorts of music as well, from psychedelic, bluesy sort of thing, fusion, and even techno. If you might guess who it is, um, it's a request as well from somebody, so you'll find out on Thursday. Anyway, that's all for this one. Um, I'll be back soon with a retro ranking, and we're going to do one of the Bad Song Series, and today's band in the spotlight are the Mighty Iron Maiden, uh, and 15 songs that really just didn't do nothing for me, so join me for that very soon, bye for now.